Hi, I am Caitlin Hasley from The Fix Yoga Studio in Oakdale. We are a full service yoga studio. We offer aerial yoga, restorative yoga, vinyasa, hatha, yin. We do yoga pop-ups. Uh, we also have a juice bar being built. Um, and we are here for all of your uh, yoga needs. Hey, I'm Joanne from Ego, and I'm here with Kate from The Fix Yoga Studio and Juice Bar. Um, so Kate, I wanted to ask, you know, from a beginner's perspective, mm -hmm. someone who's never done yoga, you know, where do you start? First thing I would say is to just get yourself in the door. So we have an intro offer, two weeks unlimited classes for $29, and that includes um, all of our uh, regularly scheduled classes online. So if you're not ready to come into the studio, you feel like you just need to take a few classes online, you can do that, or you can come into the studio where, um, you know, we have mats and everything available. You don't have to bring anything with you, just yourself and some comfortable clothes and that's it. And just a, an open mind. Um, and I would say the first, the, the best class to start with is a restorative class. So you're gonna get really, familiar with your boundaries and um, the fundamentals and principles of yoga and movement. It's just really comfortable movement that feels good. We give you props and stuff. So, um, you know, we set you up in just really comfortable poses that just help you to get really, really familiar with basic yoga poses and movement that just feels good for your body. Okay. So how about someone who suffers from inflammation, whether it's physical, mm -hmm. stress, mm -hmm. internal, you know, what type of classes would be good for them? Yeah. So restorative is probably the best class or yin restorative and yin, which are both passive classes. So I, I break it down into two categories. Um, at, at yoga classes, I break them down into two categories. So you have active classes and you have passive classes. So your passive classes are going to be uh, more like recovery, right? Where it puts your body, it shifts your, your nervous system from the sympathetic, which is like the active role, right? Into the parasympathetic, which is the more passive, relaxed, um, at ease um, state. So um, passive classes are restorative, restorative flow, yin, wall yoga, things like that. Um, your active classes are vinyasa, any flow classes, like faster, uh, the pace is set a little bit faster. So you kind of want to already be sort of familiar with the poses with, with, um, and with your boundaries so that, um, you know, you can pick up the pace a little bit and get a little bit more cardiovascular movement, um, out of the practice. But yeah, if you're, if you're suffering from inflammation, I would definitely say restorative is a great place to start because it's going to put your nervous system into a more healing, relaxed state that is going to promote healing. Okay. And then just on, I guess, who would your average kind of yoga person be? Like who's most common, you know, healing? anyone who has stress. Anyone who has stress, we have classes that range from all over the place. Actually, we have a, a brand new class called Blue Collar Yoga that is um, tailored to men's mobility needs. Men are need yoga so much, and they're you know the the last to advocate for that need um, by you know stepping into a yoga studio. So we built a class around them. Um, but you know, in that that class, Blue Collar Yoga is really for like anyone who has like a, a a challenging job um, where it's like physically demanding or they have had a physically demanding job. Um, but anyone who, you know, we have a lot of moms who come to um, our morning restorative classes um, and our evening classes. We have vinyasa classes that are really for people who maybe have a little bit of experience or, or maybe more um, doing yoga who want more of a workout with their mobility. Um, but yoga is for everyone. Yoga is for anyone who moves really. Yeah. Um, and anyone who wants to have more access to their body and more access to their mind and their mental health. That's good. So if someone were just starting out, how long would you say it would take them to notice a difference? So, um, that's a really good question. I always let people know that if you want to see if you just want to maintain where you're at, you just want to maintain because we're, we're, our, we're, our health is on a spectrum, right? We're always moving in one direction or the other, depending on how 
how active we are in participating in our wellness, right? Yeah. How often we're practicing our health, you know, our health and our wellness. So uh, if you're just trying to maintain whatever level you're at, I, I always tell people twice a week, you wanna be on the mat practicing twice a week. If you're trying to make progress with flexibility, with mobility, with stress relief, you wanna be on the mat every 48 hours. Oh, wow. Yes, yeah. Yeah, could be That's you're 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 always either gaining mobility or losing yeah. mobility, and same thing goes to in order to manage your your stress and practice good mental hygiene and emotional hygiene and physical hygiene. You definitely want to be uh, to make it a, a regular practice. So yeah. it's like it, your body is the more often you're practicing, the more often you're putting yourself back in that. You know, stress is a part of life. It's not something we can avoid, but yeah. we can manage it, right? So the more often we are practicing wellness and practicing um, relaxation and techniques that help to put your mind at ease and clear your mind of all the debris that we experience from the stress of life, the more regulated we are mentally, emotionally, physically, and the more connected we are and the more intuitive we are and are able to um, pick up on and on our, on our needs. And yeah. we even just the practice of yoga can even teach you to speak up for yourself, you know, and, and not only recognize like what we need, but, but advocate for our needs. So it's really, it's practice. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree. Yeah. And I think that's like the, the thing about wellness is it's not like that quick fix. Mm -hmm. Like you have to be consistent yes. and it does take a little time, not a one but time. it's a bigger benefit. Yeah. So yeah, I like that. So we don't have to be flexible to do yoga. We don't have to be strong to, we don't, we don't, we don't have to be well to go to the doctor. Right. Yeah. So why do we have to be flexible to do yoga? It doesn't make sense. Well, it doesn't work that way. Right. It's, it's a way to address mobility and to, to, to take from the practice. So we set intention for every practice, right? And a lot of times it's really hard to even get in the door, but you know, you, you don't have to, we offer classes online. So people who want to just stay home in the comfort of their own, you know, personal space are welcome to do that. But there is no judgment, especially with yoga. There's no judgment. Um, you know, you come as you are, that's the number one rule in yoga. You come as you are, you do what you can. You start where you are. And the more you do of what you can do, and that's what we focus on, not what we can't do. The more we do of what we can do, the more we're able to do of what we couldn't do. So, you know, you you learn from every practice and you, you're you tapping into the wisdom of your body and that's what's really important. Um, so we focus on, we're not here to judge each other or to mirror each other. Or we're not looking at the person next to us to see if we measure up. You're in immersed in your own personal experience, taking from it whatever it is that you need. So yeah, we don't, we don't focus on, you know, okay, well, let me get to this point before I start. You don't have to do that. You can start where you are. For anyone who's ready to make that change, mm -hmm. so they want to start committing to wellness, maybe they're not ready to come into the facility, but they want to start at home. Mm -hmm. What tips would you recommend for them? So it's always good to start with five minutes a day. If you can take five minutes a day at the same time every day to just practice a little mind-body connection, you know, find a nice quiet place at home that's peaceful, um, you know, turn off the TV, disconnect, unplug from your phone, turn off, you know, get away from social media and just spend some time really connecting with yourself, just quieting, all the, the the rolodex of things to do that's constantly spinning in your head and just get quiet and just be in the stillness a lot of times just being in that stillness and quieting your mind and, and just finding some quiet time for yourself to just be in the stillness um, there's a lot of insight that comes from that and it can be a great catalyst for uh, to really start your wellness journey yeah, awesome. and then how about um yeah. Maybe something they could do um, at the desk, mm -hmm. you know, just for the common areas that people kind of ache. Yeah, or carry absolutely. Stress. Yeah. So I would say the the main um, movements to focus on um, when you're just like in the office or you're at home is um, twists and side bends and forward folds. So those are a great place to start. So. Um, 
you start, if you want to start with a twist, you can come to the edge of your seat and plant your feet on the floor and you want to sit tall. Anytime you're twisting, you're rotating your thoracic spine, you always want to make sure you're lengthening. So you can start in a chair and just take your hand to the arm of the chair or to the edge of the, of the seat and just twist your spine. Just make sure you're lifting up through the crown of your head as you rotate your spine and turn your head to look all the way over the shoulder. And then something that's really important with yoga is that you're connecting your movement to your breath. So you're breathing deeply and that's really the priority is that you're breathing. The whole reason why we do yoga is to create more space in the body for the breath to access, right? So it opens up and oxygenates the blood and connects us more deeply to ourselves. So twisting, just rotating in both directions, I would say maybe hold to three to five breaths for each, each um, twist. And then a side bend, you can take hold of the opposite arm uh, of your chair and stretch your other arm up over your head or you can even just take your arm um, and grab hold of the other arm and do some side bends and then forward bends you can just uh, come to the edge of your seat and extend your legs and touch your toes or come down onto the floor and stretch your arms all the way up and lengthen through your spine create space in your shoulders and your rib cage and your spine and then exhale and fold forward lengthen through your posterior chain it helps to relieve a lot of lower back pressure and tension a lot of times most people yeah I always say them like I don't know if we were really supposed to be on this planet because everybody suffers from lower back pain it's like gravity is not oh, our I friend bet, yeah yeah so um that's just a joke but no we all do experience lower back pain at some point or another most of us often um so forward bends are always a good way to relieve posterior chain tension and it's a good idea to keep your knees bent you can even put a pillow underneath your knees when you fold forward but try to hang out there and forward fold for you know a couple minutes if you can and you can start the day that way with forward bend a twist and a couple side bends every morning it's better to practice for a few minutes every day um, than to wait a week and practice you know for one hour once a week yeah. So the more often you're, you know, stretching, the more you're going to be able to improve your mobility. Yeah. And I would think like at work, you can definitely do that. And it would be a way to help you kind of stay awake. Yeah. Sometimes absolutely. like after lunch, I'm like, oh, I'm tired or I'm hurting. Like mm -hmm. just five minutes, do it. Yeah. You know, finish yeah. out the rest of the day. Absolutely. Yeah. I need that. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Kate, for uh, collaborating with us. We're so excited to um, connect with The Fix. And if you're ever in Oakdale and you want to start your wellness journey, this is a perfect place to start. They have a juice bar opening up soon, so that's also very exciting for them. Um, so we thank you for watching, and we're excited for this collaboration with our group. Thank you.